<laughs> Hi, beautiful. How are we today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Today, we're doing one of my favorite things ever, which is watch TikToks. It's gotten worse and worse. <laughs> the amount of TikTok videos I watch in a day is concerning. I now watch TikTok in place of watching Netflix. I don't know what to do. It's a sick addiction. I need to stop. I don't know what it is about it, but it really intrigues me. I've curated my list of the best hair TikToks I could find. This took forever. I had you guys tagging me in everything and I was watching all of the videos and then I curated my list of the top videos on TikTok that are about hair and I wanna share them with you today so we can have a laugh together and explain what went right or what went wrong in these videos. I will say TikTok tops the most f***ed up hair coloring videos I've ever seen in my life. They're worse than YouTube. Let's watch some TikToks together and see how badly these people botch their hair. Let's do it. <laughs> And yeah, I purposely dressed like a TikTok f boy today. Um, I just wanted to stay on theme. No, actually, in reality, it's just how I dress, so. <laughs> so, I have my phone here. I'm gonna prop it up on my computer and let's watch the first video. Uh, this one is by a girl named Hi Kayla Marie and she bleaches her hair and it goes terribly wrong. Okay, so this one's not gonna have any sound because uh, it's copyrighted music all throughout her video, but basically she wants to color her hair blonde to then go pink and she breaks out the new trees box dye and <laughs> let's see how that goes. Oh, she has beautiful brown hair. I love that. Okay, so we're doing some kind of <laughs> hair painting method with her hands and she's basically saying she has no idea what she's doing, which is very evident here. Oh, and then she ran out of box dye because she started with her ends and didn't have enough to do the top of her head. So she ended up just having to like make do with the rest of the box color she had. And this is the outcome. This is what she gets. And then she got more box dye, hit a car and applies more on top of what she just did and ends up with that kind of blonde hair moment. Now, we move on to the second video of hers which explains what happened after. So she's saying that she spontaneously bleached her hair and then she ended up with this weird mess of blonde in her head, um, but she actually wanted to go pink. Let's see how that pink actually went. Okay, so it's really orange, we love that. Oh dear, okay. It could be fine though. Her friends are helping her go pink. See? Oh my God. I've like skimmed through all these videos, but I have, I've been like trying not to really watch them through till I see them with you guys. It definitely showed up as more of a red, coppery pink. And actually I'm really into it. I think it's an amazing color on her. I think it really works with her skin tone and it looks so good. She actually ended up with an amazing result somehow and I'm a little confused by it, but I'm really happy for her. Like, okay, we love, we love. Um, That wasn't horrible. The process to get to where she wanted to go was horrible, but she got into a good place, I think. I think she's good. That hair color really worked for her. Just make sure it doesn't fade back to orange. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Up next, we have a girl named Whitehead Taylor. She dyes her hair with box dye. Spoiler alert, again. Okay, let's see how that goes. Great, we got four okay, packs of new trees. And when I go through crises, I dye my hair. <laughs> Every girl and gay man ever. If I'm going through a crisis, I'm going to dye my hair. It's just gonna happen. It's going to. So she's starting off with platinum blonde hair. Let's see what else she says. Um, I got two different colors, dark chocolate and sweet coal because I don't want it super dark but I don't want it super light, so I figured I'd mix them. I don't know, my mom's a hairdresser. She's gonna be really mad at me because I spent a lot of time bleaching my hair from brown to blonde, but I'm sick of it. Her poor mom. She probably spent days making her blonde and now she's like, you know what? That was fun for like a week and I'm gonna go back dark um, and I'm gonna use box dye. Where's your mom on this one? If anybody knows anything about color, you really should be filling the hair with um, like a red or an orange before going dark or else you're gonna get a mucky kind of weird brown color that is probably not what you wanted. We shall see though. And we're done. Oh my God. Bangs are a last minute decision. Don't know how I feel about them, but. I really like her hair brown better. I'm gonna be honest. Like I don't wasn't really vibing with the blonde on her. 
or it just wasn't the right tone of blonde. Love the dark, love the bangs. It all could have been done a bit better. Um, the reason why we try to not use box dye, box dye in general is so high in ammonia. You don't know what kind of developer you're getting in the box. When you're going over already blonde bleached hair, you don't need any of that lifting agent in your color. So what you're gonna wanna use usually is a demi-permanent color or a very low developer with your permanent color. So like a 10 or 20 volume. I'm pretty sure a lot of these box dyes has like 30 volume in it. That's the part that scares me is you don't know what's in these box dyes. You don't have any idea. And you just don't need a lot of ammonia in your hair. Your hair is already lifted to blonde. You're just trying to bring it back down. You don't need any of those lifting agents that you're gonna get with box dye. So that's why we try and stay away from that stuff because it's like a hit or miss. Usually it's a miss. Listen, our hair didn't look mucky or green or whatever. And I actually didn't mind it. Overall though, I do like the bangs. I do like the brown. I just wish both of them could have been done a little bit better. Or maybe ask your mom to do it for you. I don't know. Oh, like, uh. I mean, she's a hairstylist, why not ask her? I, I mean, am I missing something here? Um, okay, moving on. Next video is by It's Just Stasia. This one I have already reacted to on my TikTok. Brad on NYC, if you wanna follow me. Yeah, it was rough. So I just watched a video on someone giving tips of how she gets color out of her hair. I have most of the ingredients, so I said might as well try it. I've been trying to get, I don't know if you can see it, this like blue, it's kind of green now out of my hair for a while. Okay, I actually haven't seen this part. So it's two parts. I've only seen the second part, but I haven't seen this and I am already cringing because her hair looks dry and damaged already. Um, and her hair is curly, so it's always gonna be a bit more dry than other people's hair. And that part she just pointed at, that blue part, that looks like over-processed hair that has like a slight bit of toner on it. And putting more lightener on that is just going to literally fry it off, which may or may not happen. <laughs> um, the only thing is she used 10 volume developer and I only have 30 and 40. I don't know if that makes a difference at all, but I've also been contemplating shaving my head lately. <laughs> Okay, let me ask you a question. If there was no difference between 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume, why would there be 10, 20, and 30, 40 volume? What would be the need for that? 10 volume has a lot less lifting agents in it. It's not going to lift your cuticle as much as a 40 volume will. 40 volume would be maximum lift and 10 volume will give you the least. Um, you can go a little bit lower than that. 20 volume is like, you know, a little bit of lift. 30 volume is a little bit more of a lift and 40 volume is the most lift we do here in America, usually. So yeah, using 30 volume is going to highly damage your hair. <laughs> Baking soda, Dawn dish soap, Cheers. 30 volume. Oh, I got two tips. Wear gloves, cause my hands are bleached now. And don't be a dumb So what she's trying to do is a bleach bath to get the uh, rest of her color out of her hair. Now, I wouldn't do a bleach bath on her. I would probably go in with foils and do every single section because what she has in her hair, there's so many different colors. There's so much going on. She has roots. The roots are gonna be turned orange. There's just gonna be so much messiness going on with her hair after this. And it's just gonna be worse than what she has now for so many reasons. But yeah, I would definitely recommend like, going in with foils throughout the entire head, and then probably bringing the hair back down to a deeper level. I think what she has now, it would just be a huge corrective color process that a hairstylist would need to do, and a very skilled hairstylist. And a bleach bath is just not gonna be the thing for her today, it's just not. <laughs> she ends up with this. And then colors it again, and all of her hair falls out. Surprise! And it looks worse than before. Oh, it's so bad. It's really, 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 really bad. Oh, girl. Put your hair in a damn ponytail in for two years and let's let that grow out or just shave it. I don't know, man. It's gonna be a very difficult process to fix this, but I wish you the best of luck. However, I will not be that one fixing it. It's a lot. Yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, so this next one is a quick one that I have already reacted to on my TikTok page, but <laughs> this needs more attention. This shit is some of the craziest shit I've ever seen in my entire lifetime of being a hairdresser. This one is by Ashling Amanda, and um, y'all, I went bald is her caption, so. You can only imagine what goes on here. So she's using high lift bleach with some kind of, I don't even know. Oh, oh, so she's bleaching one. And then she goes bald. 
<laughs> Why? Why? She bleaches one side and makes one side blue and one side just falls out of her head completely. She is not in the least bit concerned about what just happened to her. What is going on here? What is this? That stressed me out the first time I saw it. I hope it stressed you out too. You're welcome. Anyways, moving on. Our next series of videos is by Space Boy Maddie. I haven't seen all of these yet, so this should be good. Hi, so um, pretty much I'm gonna dye my friend's hair, bleach my friend's hair. So this is the before. She had highlights before, obviously, you can see on the sides and stuff. Her hair is pretty. <laughs> We're gonna really go and f this up. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, I'm scared for her. Natural hair kind of is growing through now. And she wants it blur. 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 In conclusion, we've done the back. She is now Ooh. ginger. Oh boy. This is, this is the best feature. <laughs> See how this is light and then this is um, brown. <laughs> A streak of brown, and then this is light, and then this is ginger. Um, yeah, we're gonna wash out the front um, in like 50 minutes, because it's only 20 developer. So they used 20 volume developer, and Bleach just just went at it. And basically missed a ton of spots, and it was a mess. The funny thing is that he's using kind of like good techniques, just the application of the techniques is not the best. She probably needs something more like a 30 volume on her, maybe not on the scalp, but everywhere else, I don't know. I'd have to see her hair in person, but I mean, she needs some kind of like foil. She needs some kind of incubation of heat. There needs to be something there to lift the hair evenly and nicely. You're setting yourselves up for failure. I like that he washed out the back first because he applied the back first. He knew that it processed fully. He wanted to rinse that off so it didn't over process. However, he ended up rinsing it off and it wasn't processed enough. Using the right techniques and the wrong application for them, I guess, whatever. Let's see what happens after this. We found a really like solid brown hair and she, she says it's like she wants to rip it out, but I have said, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Why? Every time it shocks me. Yo, have you ever seen anybody rip their hair out of their head like that? Yeah, I've seen people rip out one piece, but never like 20 pieces at once. Did you hear that sound? Why would you do that to yourself? I was so shook when I first saw that. I was like, why? And I still am. I'm just like, how did you just do that? And then she laughed about it. How did her hair rip out that easily is my real question. Like, what? It has come out really nice. Like, actually, no, not even mad at it. Go. Wow, Wait, it's so like, it, it is so does look though. kind of good. Ooh, we even that bit. So this is the completely finished look. As you can see here, we ran out of box colorant. <laughs> it's so like red and dark kind of color. And then here is like pinky blonde. <sighs> it wasn't the worst application. It wasn't the best for sure. If she came into a salon, I would foil probably every piece of her hair individually in tiny little sections. I would probably use 30 volume on those dark bits of hair. Um, and then the rest I would either not touch with bleach or I would use like a 20 volume developer on them. Making somebody from highlights to a double processed platinum blonde is a super annoying thing to have to do. It's so tedious, but the outcome, you know, was decent. <laughs> you know, it's at home hair color. What are you gonna get? You know, never gonna be perfect. The result was fine. I guess. Let's move on. Our next video is by Maddie the Barbie. Let's see what happens. I'm not sad. No, I'm not having a mental breakdown, but I'm gonna dye my hair. <laughs> it looks like shit right now. So no, it doesn't. Beach, and, um, Actually, it's kinda good. It we are here. Good old Sally's, what's up Sally's? Oh, the drive, I was thinking about dyeing it brown, but like, no, we're gonna go blonde. Even though it kind of like is, but. It, it, it is blonde, okay, yeah. Okay, quick call. Purple shampoo, the shit, box dye. Bleach, gloves, more <laughs> and toner. Let's get started. I love how she points to the developer and goes, toner. Girl, that ain't toner, it's developer. I definitely did something wrong. <laughs> Way too much developer. We're going to have to come back for a part two. I know. Uh, starting at the end. I hate people do that, but I'm sorry. Uh oh, I already know this is a bad idea. Okay, come back. It's part two, the bleach is in. My head like itches so bad, but like- Stop itching. Itching creates little abrasions on your scalp, which is then going to make it itchier because the bleach is going to seep into them. It's just not a good idea to itch. Just try not to do it. You can pat whatever you need to do, but don't itch. Um, especially with those claws of yours, girl. Oh, it looks okay, bad. Yeah. Um, so now we're using like the dye. Okay, she's using 12A. It looks really bad. So what's happening here is her 
hair was not lifted enough. It's at like a level eight and it looks terrible and it's very patchy and um, there's a lot going on. So now she needs like a corrective process to fix her hair. Great. And she started off with beautiful hair. So I don't know what happened, why she did this, but you know, whatever. Now she's using 12A on her level eight hair to tone it. Um, and toner doesn't lift your hair, it just deposits. So you can't go from a level eight to a level 12 with toner. You need to bleach it again. Okay, so the box dies and now or whatever. It's not box dyes. It's terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh. I'll rinse it, I'll put purple shampoo in and hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> Everybody just thinks that purple shampoo is going to save their life. Everybody. They don't know why. It's not going to save your life. It's not gonna lift your hair either. So you can't go from a level eight to a level 12 with purple shampoo. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> I let this sit for like a long <laughs> time. Oh. I'm giving a little update because um when I was in the shower, all of my hair was falling out. Oh. Everything is fine. While the purple shampoo's in, I'm sewing clips on my hair extensions. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait. Like. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's bad, actually. Yeah. Okay, so that's where it all ends. Uh, Maddie, let's just never do that again. That was tragic. I'm so sorry, but it looked bad. Not a lot of things went right there. First of all, I wouldn't recommend doing that at home. I don't know what to tell you. Next time, just don't do it yourself and do it correctly. Good luck fixing your hair. Oh, <laughs> Oof. Now, this next one just went totally viral and I thought it was really funny, but it really doesn't have any outcome, but we're gonna watch it together anyway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Pasta noodles. <laughs> Pasta noodles. What they're doing here is using a frosting cap to do their highlights. Wouldn't recommend it. Frosting caps, you kind of just put them on your head. You pull out the hairs through the holes um, and you lighten those hairs that you pull through with the crochet needle. It's such a random highlight that it gives you. It, it's never perfect. It's never good. That bleach seeps through the cracks of the cap and gives you like lines all over your head, like tiger stripes. It's all around just not a good idea. Wouldn't recommend it, but this was hilarious. I needed to share it with you guys. So now we have Cadet Pina. <laughs> More bleach fails. So this one has copyright music on it, but she doesn't say anything. Um, she, <laughs> for some odd reason, is brushing her hair out while there's bleach on it. And I can't figure out why. What she was thinking at this point when she took a round brush to her hair that already has bleach on it and was like, I'm going to round brush my hair right now. Why are we doing that? What is the point? Then she applies this uh, other color, very sloppily, sloppy, sloppily. Sloppy. There's nothing good going on with this one, just like all the rest of them. And the outcome was this kind of like blue purple bang. I don't know how she got there. I don't know why she got there. There's a lot of things I'm not knowing here. Well, if she likes it, then so do we, right? <laughs> Next time, don't use a brush while your hair is processing with lightener because when your hair is lightening, it is at a very, very fragile state, okay? When it's lightening, your hair stretches really far. You can easily break it off. You need to be careful with it. Don't use a round brush with ceramic bristles to brush your hair while it's lightening, okay? Section it nicely, get the lightener in there, and you won't have to brush it through, all right? Next time, you better not do that, okay? Our next and last TikTok is by Lava X Girl. I've seen this one, it's a lot. <laughs> Judge it for yourself. So her friend is doing her hair and she cuts off her hair. She's mixing the lightener. They are dancing and applying a lot of lightener, which I actually really like that. She used definitely enough lightener on this. Now has orange hair. She is applying lightener again, which honestly I probably would have done too. And it doesn't look like it's changed color that much. Okay, so they tone it and it looks like, oh, okay, it could be good. And then she ends up with the same exact color. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened. And it looked bad. <laughs> Terrible. You like think that the ble that the toner is gonna do something and then nothing happens. She's fully living her best life. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God. I'm not a fan. I think you're at a good place right now to then go maybe like purple or blue or pink. You have a nice base to work with. I just don't think this is the right blonde for you. It's doing nothing for your skin tone. I think another color would be really great. Purple, why don't we go with purple since I'm wearing purple today. I think purple would look really good on you. Take it or leave it, all right, hon? Nothing really good went on here. Oh, well, she applied enough bleach at least. Not a good outcome. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's all it's today, guys. Oh, God. That was a lot of TikToks, a lot of hair bleaching. Oh, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed me sharing my favorite hair bleaching TikToks with you today. There are so many more. If you wanna see another video like this, let me know. Uh, I can do so many TikTok videos. I have so many more videos. I have like a list of 50 videos in front of me right now uh, that I wanted to go over, but we just don't have enough time. They're all really juicy. A lot of stuff goes wrong on TikTok and people love recording it and I'm living for it. <laughs> hope you guys found enjoyment in that and found some of them funny. I no, I definitely did. And while you're at it, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the same handle, BradMondoNYC, and we'll be best friends forever, basically. You know, that's how that works. Also, make sure you check out my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair. It is linked below. You can check out the Instagram at Xmondo Hair. We have amazing, beautiful, fabulous hair products that will make your hair glow from the inside out and just make you feel good about yourself, which is the most important part. And that's all for me today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.